Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for the first series of this uh, career of the future in the STEM fields. Um, welcome to the first series of this career um, of the future in STEM fields. So I am Natalia and I'm from the Faculty of Creative Multimedia in Multimedia University and um, I'll be your host today uh, and with me is Mr. Ramesh Pillai. Mr. Ramesh, hi, say hi. Uh, yes, Mr. Ramesh Hello. will also uh, be hosting this audience. with me. And uh, together with me is uh, our three esteemed speakers that we have curated with so much love to present with you the insights what STEM can bring for you in your future career. Regardless whether you are now in Sekolah Rendah atau Sekolah Menengah, it doesn't matter because the future is about to come and we want you to get a glimpse of what you will have in the future. So uh, with us, we have Dr. Sim Yu Kyung from the Faculty of Engineering Ring Multimedia University. Dr. Sim, say hi. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Sim. And uh, we also have the wonderful Cikgu Lee Soim. Cikgu Lee will be um, sharing with us uh, her experience with her students applying STEM and, you know, bringing this to the world platform and standards. Uh, so, again, Dr. Cikgu Im. Hi. Uh, thank you very much. And um, our third speaker is also someone very special uh, who is from the Fresnel Media Google Street View and will be sharing with us how is it that you'll be seeing the latest cutting-edge technology of VR and AR. So I bring you Mr. Shahram Gadari. Yes, good morning everybody. Nice to be here today. All right, thank you very much. So there you go. You have these three wonderful speakers. Okay, um, good morning everyone, uh, parents and teachers, boys and girls. Uh, welcome to the Lingu Science Nagara School Talk Series. The topic that I'm going to share with you all today is the world of science and technology and you. Um, first of all, I would like to introduce myself again. I'm uh, Dr. Sin. I'm from, I'm a lecturer from Faculty of Engineering, Multimedia University. I'm the program coordinator of Bachelor of Electronics Engineering, majoring in nanotechnology. And I also uh, the person in charge in Faculty of Engineering that are uh, helping organize, uh, organizing online and physical workshops for the secondary school students. So if you have any, um, uh, interest or any uh, information that you want to know about the online or physical workshop that offered by Faculty of Engineering in Multimedia University, you are free to contact me. Okay, so let's come to the topic for today. Uh, the topic of today is World of Science and Technology and You. So first we look at the uh, picture in the screen first. So this is, who is this guy? I think uh, many of us is very well, uh, knew, uh, know very well about him. He is the Iron Man, okay. So he actually teamed up with some other superheroes to against the villains. So what actually is his superpower? For Iron Man or Tony Stark, he's only a very um, rich businessman compared to other superheroes like, um, Doctor Strange, um, Scarlet Witch, Thor, Captain Marvel, they are either is, um, born as God or they are mutant or they are uh, actually uh, go somewhere and then to learn a special skill. But Iron Man, no, he just a very rich, uh, very, very rich businessman. But how can he fight as a team with the superhero? So, the answer is actually through the science and technology. He using the science and technology to build up the Iron Man suit. So if we want to build an Iron Man suit, what actually the knowledge that we need to know? Electrical electronics, mechanic robotics, nanotechnology, materials, physics, chemistry, computer, and mathematics. Everyone know the Iron Man suit is actually powered with the electricity. So 
definitely we need to know what, uh, what is electrical and electronic so you can build the Iron Man suit. And then the Iron Man suit is actually made of matter. It's very heavy. Then if you want to move your hand, move your body or move your leg, you definitely need to know how to control it. When you need to know how to control it, you need the knowledge of mechanics and robotics. Because there's a lot of matter on the body of uh, Iron Man suit. So you need to find some material that is very light and strong. You need it very strong because you need to again surveillance, right? So you need to study nanotechnology and the materials engineering to find or come out a material that is actually light and strong. Then come to one part which is very quite important as well, is the Jarvis. Jarvis is the artificial intelligence assistance that helping the uh, Iron Man to control the suit or control the whole system. If you want to come up uh, artificial intelligence assistance like Jarvis, you need to know how to do the pro computer programming. So basically, if you want to build an Iron Man suit, you need to know physics, chemistry, and mathematics. So you need to apply the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to build the Iron Man suit. Okay, so uh, my topic today, I just follow what is given, science and technology for a better future. So allow me to introduce myself. My name is very simple, Lisa Im, and I'm the 2019 Global Teacher. Okay, so before I start, okay, I'm going to do one warming up with all the audience because I heard that we got uh, in the YouTube now, we got 2.3 kilo, 2,300 visitors. So I'm going to do live uh, warming up with you. So I hope everyone, okay, I just give you one second. You type slido.com. Please type slido.com. Okay, type slido.com and then you enter the code hashtag D019. And please answer my questions. Give three words you know about science and technology. Yeah, so as uh, dear girls and boys, so it's like when you see a message or what, you must see clearly. So my question is, give three words you know about science and technology. Uh, those answer one word, you maybe can change your answers. Yes, because when you are involving in the science, data must be very accurate. I say two means is two. Three words mean is three words. Yes, biology, chemistry, future. Yeah, come on, come on. We got 2,000, uh, now we got, yeah, so, okay. Come on, come on. Yeah, biology, fantastic, futuristic, robots, coding, drone, some more, some more. Yes, okay, yeah. So now we got 117 people, yes. So I can see here biology, chemistry, physics is the most, lah, you can see, because the wording is the biggest. Wow, okay, thank you for your response. Okay, think about any three words that you know can represent science and technology. Okay, nanotechnology, medicals, electricals, astronomy, experiment, tech, biology, yeah, astronomy. Okay, thank you. Now I got 415. You can still doing this, I'll leave it here. Okay, now I want to move on to another questions. One more questions. Now, can you give top STEM related job in your mind? Okay, fly car, K, tech, love, doctor, biology. Ah, top STEM related job in your mind. 
Okay, Nano, Doctor, Engineer. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, for programmer, scientist, robot, flying car. Beside that, what is T019? <laughs> Engineering, yeah, geologist. Architecture, coding, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. So, yeah. Can we go for 500? Okay. Wow, more than 500 already. Okay, so you can continue doing here that. I will switch to another slide. Okay, this is my slide. Yeah. So, dear girls and boys, so today I'm going to share with you about science and technology for a better uh, future. So, first of all, just revise back what is meant by STEM. So, everyone should know at this moment, STEM is that represent science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, thank you very much, uh, T.S. Natalia. It, it's a pleasure to be here today, specifically when we are seeing more than 2,000 uh, students are online and watching this, it becomes uh, much more exciting and interesting for us. Uh, I try uh, to start my presentation. I try to make it very short, uh, but I try to be effective as well. Uh, please acknowledge if you're seeing my screen now. Is currently being um, loaded up. Yes, can you see my screen? Uh, slowly, yes, it's showing presenting on um, YouTube. All right, you're up. Okay, very good. So I just uh, uh, give a very brief background of myself and what I do and how I can uh, make uh, especially young students very excited about uh, technology. Since I'm, I'm a person that already walked inside this path, uh, I can say more than last, last 25 years of my life is mostly focused on the technology and uh, mainly in the field. So uh, I, I'm in charge of the team that we are producing the uh, Street View content uh, for the Google, basically. And uh, we are mostly in the field using different devices uh, that are used to showcase the world in virtual reality uh, to all the users that are using the Google platform. Uh, I'd like to show you a part of a video, like when we are on the field, we are using things like uh, drones. So these are my team that they are in Penang and they are flying the drone to capture imagery from the sky. Uh, I'm sure you heard or even see the uh, Google Street View car. So this is the car that we are using to capture virtual reality content from the street. This device that you are seeing on the top is a combination of multiple cameras with scanners on the side that we call them LiDAR scanners. So the top part that is in the red color you're seeing here is capturing the environment in 360 degree photos. And these devices on the side will capture the 3D model of the environment that the car is going through. But this technology is not only for the roads, even though the name is the street view, but it goes much beyond, uh, of, the, beyond of the street borders. So we have the same device as a tracker that uh, is is the same technology, same device, but it's a portable version that can, can be taken to very remote areas to capture that areas as well. There are very interesting versions as well that uh, are on the kayak or other devices that are used to capture the sea. So uh, basically our main focus is to capture the world in virtual reality environment and publish it on the Google Street View. I want to show you what is inside this blue section, which is the camera. That inside that blue section that is capturing the images are not one camera, but a combination of multiple cameras. So as you can see here, each of these cameras are capturing a different angle 
And at the end of the day, all of these are being combined by the computing process and they make one 360 degree image. But if you want to capture 360 degree photos, you don't need to have a device that have all these cameras inside. The same thing can be captured by a normal camera that is rotating in different angles and capturing different views. Then with the computer processing, we will see all these separate photos that are taken will be stitched together and they will give us one 360 degree view of that, that environment. 